Hello guys, Leo Gross here, and today we'll be discussing calculations for this episode on programming in Python. So in Python, the, the four basic um, arithmetic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, all exist. There are also other more complex ones, which we won't be discussing, because this is for a GCSE computing. This is for not, this is not like advanced programming. Um, for those who don't live in the UK, GCSEs are just are for for fifteen year olds. That's for fifteen, sixteen year olds. They're just an exam taken at the end of secondary school. So, um, so in Python, it's very simple to do these basic uh, arithmetic um, operators. Addition is the plus, subtraction is the minus. Uh, multiplication is the asterisk, and division is the uh, forward slash. The first task is to copy and run the following program. So let's just copy and paste this. I'm going to add some spaces. Oh, didn't mean to do that. Add some spaces. Not there. And why? Because it just looks more clearer. So. 7 to 27, 3.5. So Python has worked out, oh, you want me to do a sum, it then prints the results. That's what that's what you do. So when you want to print something, so whenever you do like print, as, to, as the new task is telling us, try to change the calculations to new ones. So let's copy one of these, Control C, Control V. So if you change this to 5, then 57. Um, it's quite simple. Python say, oh, you want us to add these two numbers and print out the result. That's what the print function does when you want to try and do sums aside. When you do sums aside with the print function, it just prints you out the result. So they want us to do different calculators for each of these. So let's change these to different ones. 9, 6, and 7 divided by 5. Because why not? And there we go. So. What's the new task? We can put results of calculations into variables. These variables, will, these variables will not be string, but integer or float. So I've discussed um, previously about integers. I have not discussed about float. I've discussed about integers. Integers, I've discussed their, their whole numbers. And you, you could use string, but when you want to try to do calculations, you cannot use a string. Because string is text, and you can't calculate 2 plus 2 using text, there has to be an integer. A float, the, that's just decimal numbers, so if it just has a a point, if it, has a, if it has a point, it's a float. Another word for it is also real, and um, that's another way of saying it. Because um, different program, program languages, they use the words differently. Some, program, some program languages use the word float, some of them use the word real. In Python, um, you don't really set, you don't state well, you can't. You, you don't state what the variable is, but when you want to try and change a variable, let's say you want to change a string to a float, you would use the word float, not real. In other program program languages, you would use the word real, um, but for Python, you use the word float, just to put it out there. So we can put the results of calculations to variables. So like the like the PDF says, a equals ten. B equals 2, C equals A, forward slash B, print C, so, not X, C, let's just run that, C is 5.0, so what we've done is we've done C equals the value of A, 10, divided by the value of B, 2, which is 5. Now in Python, whenever you do division, it gives you a decimal um, for reasons. It it doesn't automatically, um, so it doesn't like to take, oh, it's 0.5, let's make that a integer. No, it makes that into a float. So just warning if you ever wish, um, if there this could be an issue which can come up. Um, you, you, when you do division, you get a float. You get a decimal number, which is 5.0, even though... It is, it, is, it is technically a decimal number, but you can change that into a whole number by just dropping the point 0.0. So, 
So, task uh, 4C, complete the program so it uses addition on the two variables. Make C equal to 15, then print it. So, make C equal to 15. What you, just simply, what you could do is you could just do it here, you could just write C equals 15. So use addition on the two variables. But but the task doesn't tell you to do it like that. What the task simply tells you to do is it tells you to complete this program so it uses addition on the two variables to make it equal to make c equal to 15. And they're not telling you to use these ones, they're telling you to use these two. So let's do that. A equals seven, b equals eight. Now, C equals, complete the parameter is addition, so, okay. So, from previous tasks, uh, I know if you lot remember from previous tasks, we have to do, before we have to do the variable name equals the variable name plus something else. It's the same with addition. You want to make C equal to two variables added together, you must do C equals A plus B. Right, I'm going to print C. So, 15, there we go. So, you can actually add two variables together. Same with string, but with string, you, you wouldn't do calc arithmetic calculations with strings. Strings, you just add on the text. So, let's say we had hello world as two separate variables, and we want to add them together. It'll just put those two uh, pieces of text or piece of string, uh, it's a technical word, together. With arithmetic, it'll just add them instead. And that's it for arithmetic, or calculations, um, in this chapter. Um, thank you guys for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, and hope to see you guys very soon. Goodbye.